Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Just wanted to jump on real quick and share a small little food line haul and a small little, I think it's mostly food Dollar Tree haul. Whew, you guys, I'm exhausted. Okay, so as you can see, I've already killed these potato chips right here. These are the Lay's <laughs> Wavy Ranch uh, flavored potato chips which were really good and I ate them along with this what is it roundel cheese these are the crackers that came in with the um, cheese and crackers but I didn't like them way too healthy for me with all those seeds and stuff in them so yeah I didn't like them but this was really expensive for this little thing it was like $2.99 for that little thing but that cheese was so good and then I needed some garbage bags real quick just to help me store my um, my fall stuff in my storage closet out on the patio. And I was at Food Line shopping for mom and they had these cha-ching little, um, this is the brand of garbage bags that they had and they were the least expensive. And I got this one which you get 10 bags. And these are the large trash bags, which is all I needed to put my fall stuff away. I didn't even use all of them. I think I used like three so far. And these, these are the tall kitchen garbage bags. Cha-ching! <laughs> and they were really inexpensive. I don't know what I did with the receipt, but for a food line, they were inexpensive. And I swear, you guys, I wanted to go to all these. I wanted to go to Walmarts, but I just couldn't do it. I worked that day. <laughs> I was, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. So I broke down and I bought everything that I needed for the moment from Food Line. I got me some more of my light and fit Greek yogurt because I love this vanilla. And I got the four pack this time instead of the big one because their big containers are expensive at Food Line. But if you get it from Aldi's or Walmart, they're really affordable so these were the least expensive ones which is the four pack so i just went ahead and got those as long as i have my dan and light and fit vanilla greek yogurt i'm good and then i bought some more of the non-roasted garlic bread this is the only place i can really find it at it's food lion and like i said before it's like 3.99 for two but you get two big um pieces of those breads that is just like perfect for a personal pan pizza or a personal pizza so I had pizza two nights in a row because I've been running and I took ground turkey out to cook but it's still in the refrigerator because by the time I get in the house I'm exhausted I don't feel like cooking anything and it is so easy to just throw some pizza sauce and some cheese and whatever else you like on your pizza and pop it in the oven for 20 minutes and bada bing bada boom it's done. My mother also loves this very much. She cracked me up <laughs> returning all of my um <laughs> she cracked me up returning my food containers that I sent her food over and she was just laughing her. She was having herself a nice little laugh talking about, oh, I washed them and cleaned them so that you could refill them. I was like, yeah, I caught that hint. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be cooking for mom again. I'll start cooking again. As soon as I can get myself together, I will start cooking for her. But she did enjoy those um, roasted garlic pizzas that I made her. Then I got some, my usual, two of my distilled waters, the gallons. And I thought I had bought eight of these, but I only bought six. And that's odd, because I usually, they come in a case of eight. So I usually get a case, but I got six, so that's good. And like I said, I didn't feel like going to Aldi's or Walmart's to get my French vanilla creamer. So I just went with the Coffee Mate, and this is good. I just, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more, but, y'all, I just could not. <laughs> be running around to all these stores and I keep forgetting that it's the holiday season everywhere you go it takes you longer the traffic's heavier and you've got every banana head on the vine out there behind the wheel of a car so I have got to give myself extra time and I have to be more mindful that 
Hello, hello, Shady. It is the holiday. <laughs> so I'm going to put this stuff away real quick and then I'm going to go around and show you guys the few little food items that I found at the Dollar Tree. I'll be right back. Okay, my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to Sweet Sadie J's channel. Thank you all so very much for coming back and supporting my channel. Today I wanted to do, eh, it's some small little Dollar Tree haul. I went in there, I don't know for what, y'all know the use. And I don't know if I showed you guys these before, but I found these Reed All Warnings. Um, what is it? How do you say it? Sepal call. Sepal call Instagram um instant throat what do they call sore throat and these are really good y'all if you have a sore throat these are really good and you can get um four lozenges and they're in the flavor of Arctic Arctic cherry. <sighs> Sorry y'all my size mean I'm just tired. So I found those and I wanted to get a few more of them but I forgot so so far I got one because sometimes my throat be um, a little scratchy so I thought that was a good deal okay um, I did repurchase another caramel dip even though I didn't eat the first one yet but I wanted to just have it because like I said before outside of peanut butter I really really love this on uh, my apples the caramel dip and I know it's full of sugar, but y'all know. Come on. There you go. This camera makes me so sick. So that's what I look, that's what that looks like. And then I was making me some of those non-pizzas uh, because the last couple of nights have just been running and ripping and running and ripping. I'm trying to work on my 12-day Christmas project. I'm trying to put up my Christmas decorations. I'm going to work. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> it's time to do mom's laundry and grocery shop for her again. Just shoot me now. Just, just shoot me now. No. <laughs> I really don't mind. I'm going to get to that stuff soon because um, I have to work tomorrow. But then I think I have Sunday off. Praise God. I almost called out, y'all, for the first time this morning. I just did not want to get out of that bed. Oh, my God. And Lord... When I tell you God speaks to you, he says, Sadie, get up and go to work. Yes, Father, I'm going to get up and go to work. I went to work this morning, 
and there were three people working. Oh my God. Whew, Lord have mercy. Let's just say what a Friday we had at the Biscuitville. So anyway, I don't like to be out of, <laughs> excuse me y'all. My asthma is still um, revving up, but I don't like to be out of my pizza sauce. And I really, really do like this pizza sauce, you guys. And it's really low in sugar. It's only got like three grams of sugar, one dietary fiber, and only five grams of um, carbohydrates. So, yeah. I mean, when it comes to tomato sauce or pizza sauce or anything like that, I really do like this. So, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep on buying my pizza sauce right from the Dollar Tree because it don't make no sense to go and spend more money you know, elsewhere when this is just as good. So I got me another jar of that. And I saw some of more of the Muller's Real Mayonnaise. And when you see this, you really do need to pick it up because again, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, you can't go wrong, you know? And so I picked that up because I love to keep mayonnaise in my pantry. I also got myself another can of Mrs. Eaton's Kitchen Peach Halves. Oh, Y'all, I love these. <laughs> these are so doggone good. So, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it because y'all know. Sprinkle a little of that tahini on these babies. OMG. They are so good. But I eat them with my granola. I eat them plain. Whatever. I just love them. So, And they're big halves. And when I dump them out into a plastic bowl, I just take a fork and a knife and I just cut them up into bite sizes. So when I go to make myself a bowl of fruit, I don't have to, you know, cut them up. They're already cut up. And of course, I have to have them chilled. I can't eat them. I can, but I prefer them, you know, chilled in the refrigerator. So I got that. And then I had a taste for some chicken and dumplings but instead of making the dumplings i decided to um purchase the pampa potato gnocchi and i love these i i really do they're very fattening but i still love them and if i made my own dumplings they would be really fattening too so i was like Let's just cut it in half and just use this. This thing is heavy, y'all. It is like 17.6 ounces. And the expiration date was really good on it when I found it earlier. Yeah, it's September uh, September 20th, 2021. So it's good into next September. And so I just decided to get me a bag of this. And I'm going to make up my chicken and kind of like shred it and put some mixed vegetables in it and make a roux or use the chicken gravy that I have in there. And then I'm going to drop these. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is gonna be so good. I have a taste. It's like chicken and rice instead of it's chicken and dumplings, y'all. So, <laughs> I got me, <laughs> excuse me. Woo. Excuse me, y'all. I got me another bag of the Mazada corn tostadas because I've been having a hankering for some, you know, makeshift um, tacos. And so I said, let me try these because the last pack I had, I let it expire. And when I finally went to use them, they were stale. So I got me a fresh bag of me some corn tostadas. And then I got me two more bags of the Snap It. I love these, you guys. Kathy and Brad, you've got me in trouble. Oh my God. You only get two bags in here, y'all, but they're worth it for a dollar. They are so good. I said when I put in my um, online grocery order at Walmart, I'm going to just go ahead and get me a big bag from Walmart because, yeah, that's not a good deal. <laughs> you know, I mean, in a pinch, it is a good deal, but, you know economically no <laughs> that's not a good deal four dollars for the that's a dollar a bag you know so i'm like well 50 cents a bag but i'm like mm, i don't know anyway they're good i love them i bought them okay so then i saw this was really hidden 
I mean, down in the bottom where, I don't know why they had it down there, but this is called Mother's The Original Circus Animal Cookies Grab and Go. Have you guys seen those? I have not seen those. That was the first time when I saw these. Can y'all see that? And it says grab and go up here. And I've never seen that. And y'all know we got to open these and see what what this year is all about. Oh, I forgot to check the expiration date. Is uh, um, let me see. Oh, May 29th, 2021. So they are good into May. Oh wow. Oh, I can smell the sugar. Oh my lord. I never saw these before, y'all. It looks like some type of ice cookie. Can y'all see that? It's like an ice animal cookie in pink and white. And I'm just like, I never. Um, mm-hmm. It is. It's a little cookie inside. Little piece of cookie inside. With, um, like that white icing. Mmm, they're good. Very good. But you can smell the sugar and they got the little, um, what do you call those sprinkles? Those little tiny ones that can sometimes have a bitter taste to them. Oh, I can't think of them. But anyway, I had never seen these, y'all. And I was like, where'd they come from? <laughs> and they had them hidden down on the bottom shelf. And I was like... Mother's, Mother's the Original Circus Animal Cookies. Grab and go. Okay. So, I got that. Mmm. They're pretty good. And then, I know y'all, I went to Food Lion Hungry. That's why, why I bought the potato chips and that expensive um, dip. And I was still kind of hungry when I got to, to the Dollar Tree. And yeah, this would explain all the junk. I found these Har um, Haribo Gold Bear. Um, these are to and from. They said that this was a holiday edition of gummy bears. Y'all know I love my gummy bears. And it looks like this. And it has the to and from tag right there. And it's got the holiday edition down here where it says holiday edition. But y'all know I love my gummy bears. And I empty them into my little mason jars that I get from Dollar Tree. And I just take um, a couple at a time. These flavors are raspberry and strawberry. So that's what you get in there. The Happy World of Harrible. Holiday Edition. Okay. So I got that. And then I found another bag of Harrible Berries. Share size. Kids and grown-ups love it so crunchy and chewy the happy world of Haribo I'm like huh crunchy and chewy berries y'all see that so y'all know we gonna have to taste it cause I don't know what's going on here and I'm gonna open it up and then I'll empty it into a mason jar that I have I love those cute little mason jars that I bought they, they're good for storing stuff mmm smells like berries Wow. Oh, they're kind of hard. So they look like this. They look like this. The two little berries. And we're going to see. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. It has like the hard candy on the outside and the chewy on the inside. I'm not sure I'm a, I'm a fan. Let me try this one. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It might grow on me, y'all. But at the moment, I don't know. Crunchy and chewy berries. I'm going to put a sideways thumb for right now because... A lot of times I don't give things enough chance and then when I come back and I try them, 
I ended up liking them. So I'm gonna go this way right now. And then I saw, and I could feel the stuff getting all in between my teeth already. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. At the register, they had these Russell Stover's Pecan Delight Bars. These are pecan pieces and creamy caramel enrobed in luscious milk chocolate. Yum. And the last time they had this, I didn't get them. And when I saw them restock them, I grabbed them. Because I was like, ooh, these things are so good. And they're good stocking stuffers or, you know, gift um, ideas to put in somebody's gift. Like, my sister loves stuff like this. Pecan turtles and stuff. Even though she'll tell me a saboteur. Because <laughs> she's trying to lose weight like we all are. But it's the holidays, and this is the worst time of the year to try to lose weight. But, hey, we're going to do it anyway. But I got me one pack of my fine hazelnut rocheros. I love these. But I'm using these in a project as gifts. I'm opening up and put one in each gift. So, these are so good. I love them. And then the last couple of things that I found in my food hall at the, at the Dollar Tree... Which I was so happy when I saw the new almond milk that they had brought out. The vanilla like they did the last two. I looked at it and I smiled because I was like, okay, they got the vanilla. That means they'll be bringing out the unsweetened soon. And yes, they did. They brought out the sweet, the unsweetened almond milk in this flavor. Now, this is different from the other one, you guys. This is only 25 calories. I forgot what the other brand name. I still have some in my pantry, you know, but it's unsweetened almond original, dairy free, gluten free, soy free, 32 fluid ounces, 25 calories per serving, and you get a quart of almond milk here. Unsweetened almond milk. And I put this on everything, y'all. Yeah, I said it. I put this on everything. I use almond milk for everything. I don't deviate from the norm at all because when I'm making mashed potatoes, when I, whatever requi requires milk, if I'm not substituting sour cream and I'm using milk, I use almond milk. But I want, I prefer the unsweetened almond milk for, you know, obvious reasons. I am a diabetic. So yeah, I try to do that. I try to do better. And I got two of them for now, but I will be going back and getting some more because the shelf lives are really, really good. And you don't have to refrigerate these until after you open them. And this is good until September of next year, September 4th of 2021. So that's how, good, how long this is going to be good for. So, and you know, you can go past the shelf life date, the sell by date, as long as you have it in the refrigerator. Because almond milk is almond milk. It's, you know, yeah. And then the last couple of things that I found by looking up. <laughs> I was ple pleasantly surprised. I found these huge, huge boxes of family size General Mills Reese's Puff Puffs Bats. These must have been left over from Halloween. And they are ginormous. Now, I saw some other ones floating around, like Cheerios or something. And y'all know I love my Cheerios, so I will be on the lookout for those. But these are, who one pound. This box got kind of mangled in my car, so I have to stand it upside down to make it stand. But you have a one pound, 4.7 ounce box of, 20.7 ounces, y'all, of cereal. You got a one save one dollar coupon off your next box, and you can cut it right out out of the box right here. So if you want to get another box from the Dollar Tree, cut this out and go and take it to the Dollar Tree and get two more boxes for free. You know. But I looked today, and yeah, they were out of them. <laughs> they sold so fast. But these are sweet and crunch and crunchy corn puffs. Yummers. Peanut butter Reese's corn puffs. Oh my God. So <clears throat> this was a good score. I love when the cereals come to the Dollar Tree, especially when they're big, big boxes like that. And yeah, 
I think that is it, you guys, for tonight. I hope you guys are all enjoying Vlogmas. I think this is Vlogmas day four. Yes, day four. And I will hopefully soon start filming actual Christmas stuff. Matter of fact, hold on.